All right, folks, Bob McCarthy here for the 2019 Rhode Island Comic Con. I'm here with the dark side, and we're going to kick off things the right way. Are you guys having a great time or what? All right, folks, we're going to check out all the action here at right here at Rhode Island Comic Con. Check it out. All right, folks, joining me right now is the total package, Lex Luger, Rhode Island Comic Con. It is such an honor to have this man here today. How's it like being here today in Rhode Island, brother? What's that? How's it like being here today in Rhode Island, brother? What do you say? I don't think he heard me. How's it like being here today in Rhode Island, brother? Hey, okay, I was doing great. Thank you, sir. That's probably me. I thought I was being too uh, loud. I didn't know if I was being loud enough for you. It must be your uh, the accent. Oh, okay, Boston accent. Even, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. We do talk kind of weird around here. I was like, here. "What did he say?" Yeah, we do talk strange around here. You know what I mean? No, I. But good. me, I talk even stranger. So. No, it's all good. Sorry all about that. All right, brother. Uh, how's like being a member of the Full Horseman when you came into NWA? How was that experience like? Oh, it was an awesome opportunity. I don't think I really grasped at the time, but that's a went down the history of wrestling as a very uh, historic group, and to be a part of that was just fabulous. And you had a great time in NWA, and then your time in WWE. Uh, what was that like with the Lex Express and, and your run there? How did you enjoy that? Oh, what a what a time on the Lex Express and the Slam heard around the world on July 4th on the Intrepid in the Harbor, in New York City. So that was a great time. All right, folks, Bob McCarthy here at the 2019 Rhode Island Comic Con with WWE Hall of Famer, the one and only Cowboy Bob Orton Jr. Cowboy, how's it like being here today in Rhode Island? Oh, it's great. You know, a lot of fans, a lot of fans coming up, getting autographs and stuff. It's great. You know, uh, a lot of fun. How's your arm? Is it healed up? I don't see you got the cast on today. A little sore, but... But I'll get by. It's getting there, right? <laughs> yeah. Awesome, man. I want to ask you, uh, what are some of your favorite memories? Uh, WrestleMania 1, when it all came together, you being a part of it, being with uh, Rowdy and all that? Oh, yeah. WrestleMania 1 was was probably the most memorable you know, time in uh, my career because it was so big. And uh, uh, it was kind of make or break for Vince, and naturally it made him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And what is one of the most favorite memories of your entire career that you look back on that you like to think is probably one of the best memories? Oh, you know what? I had so many that that everybody back in my day was very, very good. And and so every time you went out there, you had a great match. And that, I think, is was uh, my goal was just to have a great match every night. 
and you come from a big wrestling family. Your father, a wrestler, your brother, and your son, the Viper, the apex part of the Randy Orton. Your son, 13-time world heavyweight champion. What do you think of the great success of your son falling in your footsteps and your father's footsteps? Oh, shoot, it's fantastic. We're really proud of it. That's fantastic. And what can you tell us about being the bodyguard for Rowdy Roddy Piper? I mean, that, that was a 24-7 job, right? 24 hours a day. I mean, he got a lot of heat back then, and he had to have the toughest man in the world to back him up, right? I mean, how, how did you do it, Bob? Never a dull moment with Piper. Never a dull moment. Fantastic. All right, I want to thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Cowboy Bob Orton.